Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your October bonus general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. Leo, this is your second reading. I feel like you guys are the second sign. I had Aries that I did their reading over because I felt like there were stronger messages that I was meant to give. And you guys did show up in Aries reading very strong. So if you are associated or connected with an Aries or you have strong Aries placements in your chart, Go ahead and check out the Aries reading because you may have some messages there for you. But um, you guys are the second sign that I'm doing the reading over. I already know on my mind I'm going to scrap the other one because I feel like the messages are more prominent here. The downloads, you know, based off the downloads that I'm getting, okay? So... When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was partitioned by Beyonce. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Beyonce is a Virgo, so you can have strong Virgo placements in your chart. You could be dealing with a Virgo, someone rising a Venus individual, specifically sun sign. And also something very significant could have happened in Virgo season, which we left out of not that long ago. Now... As I was getting ready to start you guys reading, I looked at the time and the time was 5.11. And I'm I'm equating this to like a birth date. And 5.11, that would be May 11th. So that could definitely, you could definitely be dealing with someone who has strong Taurus in their chart or a Taurus person specifically. But also you guys know it's always, every time I throw out numbers, make sure you look that up because I feel like it is very significant to your situation because that's not random. There's no such thing as coincidence, accidents. You are meant to get that message, Okay. So Google angel number 511 and leave in the comment section below how that message relates to you because I do feel like it's going to relate for quite a few of you all out there. You guys know I always look at the comments, I always respond. So make sure you leave a comment in that comment section in regards to that angel number 511, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to tell you the message that I get, okay? With partition, I literally heard that somebody wants to do any and everything, Whatever you desire, whatever you want, it's like you have this person in your hand. And you guys know I often write notes so that I can make sure I say the message that I hear exactly like how I hear it. Um, with you guys, I heard you have them right where you want them. Some of you guys, you it's, it is because the song partition, it is a very sexually charged song. And even the video and footage for it, I feel like for some of you all, you're helping somebody step completely out of their norm, out of their comfort zone. Um, and I, Leos have that ability. Leos have very charming, very strong sex appeal. And I do feel like that is a situation for you. It's something about your energy, your charisma really makes this person let their guards down. And they are completely different. If you are becoming intimate with someone for the first time, I feel like something about the way you perform is making them like, oh, Oh, you ain't going to outdo me and you guys are going to kind of be going at it, but in a good way is what I'm getting. You got the Ten of Pentacles, and I did mention that Beyonce is a Virgo. You do have Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck for your general energy, you have the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate union. Again, I feel like, then I say like going back and forth, you see how that rainbow is going into both of their cups. It's, a, it's an equal exchange. Some of you guys could be involved in uh, um, water sign, Cancer, Spice, Scorpio, or as I'm doing this reading, we are officially in Scorpio season. This could be, see, and I said in exchange, I feel like for some of you all, some type of intimate encounter is like going to really make you guys lock in the situation. Like if you guys were just like friends with benefits, you about to lock it in. Like you guys, it's going to be very intimate. Mm. Also, you know, I don't think people really notice how intimate, like if you are having sex or something like that, you guys are looking each other dead in the eyes. It's like something about that. It could be hypnotized into you all. Okay. And it's like, ooh, we, okay, a child could come out of this situation. Somebody could end up getting pregnant. There's a child right here. But if you notice how she's holding that pinnacle, it's by her stomach, almost like a baby bump there. Again, I am getting energy that this could be something new for a lot of you all. And again, I'm going to say, as I'm doing this reading, we are in the 10th month. You had a 10 of pinnacles here. You could be starting something new and it could have just been like a friends with benefits, but then it's, it's evolving into something more. Because if you see they're in the doorway, which means something is getting ready to start, like you're getting ready to embark upon a journey here. I feel like an ex because you have a third party watching on and there's an upside down home, one, two, three pinnacles by this third party. There could be an ex who is a um, earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn who could be finding out 
Ooh, okay. They could be finding out that you're moving on and going in a different direction. They could be talking. You see how the child is peeking from around the mother? And you see how he's kind of looking? They could be talking to a child, asking about your new person. Being messy as hell. Really look at this child, like how this child is peeking around. They could be talking to your child. If you have a child with this person, asking about... Oh, who is mommy dealing with? Or did you did you see mommy's friend or daddy's friend? Something like that. Like this, somebody is like trying to find something out about your new person. Now, remember what I was saying with that, um, the saying that I heard, you have them right where you want them. For some of you all, you want this person to know that you've moved on. You want them to um <laughs> have a bird's eye view or see front and center that you've moved on. That you've accepted somebody else's offer and somebody else values you because she's holding the pinnacle. Pinnacle's whole value here. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the sun. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Leo. Sun will rise in Venus individuals. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles working, building, establishing something. So some of you guys, you definitely could be establishing something with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Um... First one, last initials I have here is T H C G M W. Also P. I also heard Weber. Someone's last name could be Weber. Somebody's nickname could be Webby. I'm getting Wendy. And someone's last name could be Williams. And I didn't even mean to say that like that, like Wendy Williams, but I, I am hearing it like that. I also heard Marcus. Okay, Marcus is well. I'm hearing Marcus. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana. Oh, yeah, new love. Somebody's finding out that you have new love here with the Knight of Cups. For some of you guys, it could be a water sign, Cancer by Scorpio, or this new love could be coming in, or notice of a new love could be coming in in Scorpio season, okay? And I definitely feel like, you know, there's a lot of chemistry here for sure. This is a water sign card, but if you look, I always say this, the way those feathers are, it looks like flames. So I feel like you are always on this person's mind. And remember what I was saying, like you have them where you want them. You want to be on this person's mind all the time. And I feel like you're getting exactly what you wanted. Somebody's putting in the work. I, I'm telling you, I'm, I really get sexually. Somebody about to put in the work. I'm just noticing. <laughs> I'm noticing how he has the hammer there. Like somebody about to put in the work. Drill team, okay? Just tell me what I got here. Just saying, queen, just gonna tell you what I'm getting, okay? So again, we're gonna go here. Yep, I told you, sex. There is some strong sexual chemistry here with the ace of wands. That is a very sexual and phallic energy. You guys are watching what I'm doing. You got the eight of wands flying towards it. Fast moving communication coming out of blue unexpectedly, but I feel like somebody's really gonna step outside of their comfort zone. And I mean, the sex gonna be bomb here. Even if you've already been intimate with this person, I feel like there's like a bit of a switch up. And I always say with this card, because you have those red strings there, I think about the red strings of fate. And with the red string of fate, this is fated and destined connections with somebody that you have some strong karmic ties to already. Okay. And I feel like if you are single, this person is coming in. You may um, get this type of connection coming in within the next eight days. I'm not getting it eight months, possibly eight weeks, but I'm getting something soon. Because the, the energy is so prominent. I feel like this is soon. You could be intimate with this person within the next eight days also. Something also about the 8th or the 18th. 8th, 18th, or 28th. That could be you or your love interest or somebody involves um, birth date. Also, someone could be a life path number 8 or personal year 8. Okay. So, again, we're going to get the sun... Bottom of the deck, you have the, you guys will watch what I'm doing. You have the eight of cups. Something with eight. Something with eight. Also, you may have walked away from someone in August. Okay. Wow. So, the sun, wow. Okay. So, of the eight cups, you have three spilt over. And right behind it, you have the three of cups. Oh, my goodness. You may have walked away from someone because of a third party situation. But I'm not getting that so much as much as I'm getting... This is something worth celebrating because it's like celebrations, having a good time. I'm just looking at those eye masks. I, I'm not trying to really just keep going hard with the whole sexual narrative, but I do feel like some kinky stuff might be going on here. Okay, there you go. So, wow. And then you have the three. Okay, you got the eight of cups, right? So, of the eight cups, three of those cups are spilled over. Behind it, you have three cups. 
And then, whoa, okay. And then you have a five of swords, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. And there's one, two, three people. Someone could be born in the year of the horse here. But I want you to see, like, really look at this, okay? Right in front of you, this is your major arcana. You have the ten of cups. Again, I'm doing this, this reading for the 10th month. You got two people here. I'm already seeing some type of uh, scenario. Right behind that, you have the three of swords. So, okay. And then eight of pentacles again a lot of eight stuff you could definitely be an august leo that this very very strongly resonates with again because you had all those threes and this is confirmation there's shirley and barbara that's my woman to woman sitting there talking about something that they have in common um i feel like in october some of you guys could have found out about some type of third party situation here um because even with the saying you have them exactly where you want them if you want to find out the truth about something you may have found out the truth Okay, possibly in our, in um, Libra season because you do have swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Libra season is, it does end in October. You may have found out the truth about a third-party situation. These people may have come face-to-face -face, or you may have come face-to-face -face and had some type of communication with them. So that's also what I'm getting with this. Like, you have them exactly where you want them. Like, now you have proof. Now you have evidence because you've actually had to sit down with this person or however that case may be. First, middle, last, initial. X C G M W N K T and O. First middle last initial of you, a third party, or your love interest. I want to see where this is going because I'm telling you right now. Excuse me. So you know what I'm getting also, and it's very interesting because I keep getting strong sexual energy. Like say, and of course this one applies to everybody because it's general. So no need to even leave in a conversation like I wouldn't do that. Okay, gotcha. But I'm getting very strongly right here. Somebody on a sexual level may have brought a third party into the situation. It was just like, okay, we both have to know about this. We both have to be on the same page about this, okay? And somebody actually was dealing with the third party outside of that, that like, session. I'm going to say like that. That could be the case. And then also, if it's not, like, a third party, like, all three of you all together... It could have been like you and your person were on a break and then they found out that you were dealing with somebody else and you could have said, well, I'm done with this person with me and you got back together, but then you could have found out that this person was still connected to this person somehow. Either this is happening, like they're finding out you did it or you find out that they did it. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, temperance card. Patiently waiting for something to come. I really feel like this is patiently waiting for some type of information to come out. Sagittarius energy here. Temper yourself, being patient, because it looks like the truth is going to come out in a situation. Again, I keep hearing you have them exactly where you want them. And then I just heard, like, putting your hands. I feel like you're going to get somebody to tell the truth about everything. Like, they're going to tell the truth about everything. Again, you had all those eights. If you're not specifically an August Leo, it could have been something that happened in August, Okay. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Yep, you're finding out something for sure. Two major arcanas back to back. Definite energy with major arcanas. The hermit, again, something with eight because the hermit, that's Virgo energy and Virgo season starts in August, eight. And when you have the hermit, that's someone who's seeking knowledge, seeking the wisdom, seeking answers and clarity. I feel like somebody's going to find something out. It may be a little heartbreaking, but I honestly kind of feel like you're going to be delivering some heartbreaking news to be real with you. Because you have swords here, but look what, what's coming from behind the heart is the flames. I feel like you're going to be delivering heartbreak to somebody. But you may be delivering heartbreak to somebody because you found out something about something they did. And then you're going to pass down a judgment based off of what they did. Okay, yeah, three of wands, and that's you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You lost patience with this situation because you got the Temperance card reversed and the Three of Wands. You keep getting this Three Energy. You got the Three of Swords here. Three of Wands. Uh-huh. So, yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, some of you guys are passing out some type of judgment because, yeah, you ain't feeling it. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody may have felt like they was getting away with something, but they ain't. Not at all. So, you have Taurus Energy here. You got Taurus, your Energy, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. All of them have books, which means it's already written and the stars is already um, recorded and reverse is like something is not going in someone's favor. And I don't feel like it's you that's not going in your favor. I feel like if this person felt like they were getting over on you, mm -mm, mm -mm. I feel like you already got the tea. You already know the information. It's already been 
You got you got receipts. You got documents. You you're finding proof. I feel like you may have cut someone off already. For some of you guys, this already happened in August, and I feel like it's showing up now. Because it's, it's like purging. You know how stuff comes to the surface, it boils to the surface so it can make more space, make more room. You're healing from heartbreak or somebody from your past is trying to come back, but you're already ready to move on to something else. Definitely could have caused some conflict. Five of Wands, conflict, arguments, disagreements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too many people involved. There's definitely a situation where there's too many people involved here. Let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Cups. Yep. Woo. Okay. Again. So you got the world card in reverse. Here you go again. Your energy, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. The world card in reverse talks about a cycle not ending. Okay. A right, a cycle is ending. So you have a brand new beginning in reverse. Something has not ended completely. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. I'm going to say again, something with a third party. Something has not ended completely. I do feel like now, because if this is a past situation, it's coming back to the surface. Because somebody wants to come back towards you. Again, you have free will. Whether or not you're going to accept it, that's up to you. But somebody who put you in a third party, because again, you got this three of swords here. If you notice with the nine of pentacles, the single woman, single man, right behind her back, there's three pentacles. The back behind you, that's your past. So somebody from your past who broke your heart, they're trying to come back in. Somebody from your past who broke your heart is trying to come back in. But I feel like a lot of you all are like, mm-mm. You know what? I'm telling you, a little birdie is telling you something. Because you see how she has this bird right here? And birds is an air element, and you have swords here, air element. So it could involve a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Or this could have happened in Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius season. Because all those seasons have already passed. So you have Aquarius season, January, February, Gemini, May, June, and then Libra would be September, October. And you do have nine right here, September. So for some of you guys, something played out in September. And it could have led to some type of breakup. Because you got three of swords, heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, and grief. And then a single woman, single man. So somebody became single possibly in September after finding out some type of truth. But I feel like somebody is not ready to let you go. Like something, you know, something is coming back around. Somebody's coming back around, Leo. And again, free will. So you will decide whether or not you want to deal with this person. But long story short, it looks like, remember I said you have this person exactly where you want them. You see how this bird is right where she wants them. If you notice, this hand does not have a glove. This one has a glove on. So it's like you're dealing with the situation delicately. You're finding out the information that you want to find out. And um, you, didn't I say like putting your hands? You have, it's like this, you're going to make this person tell on herself or whoever you talk to is giving you all the feedback you need to make a decisive decision about the nature of the for movement of this relationship or situation. Again, even if this is a past situation, I feel like it's coming back to the surface because somebody's not ready to wrap up the cycle with you. They're not. Again, strong Leo, your energy Taurus, Scorpio, and we are Scorpio season, and Aquarius. And then you do have Aquarius possibly right here with the Three of Swords. So put those energies where they apply, okay? So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.